In this short video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade a previous version of WordPress to the new 2.7 version. So the first thing you want to do is to log into your blog. Uh, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do an upgrade to a blog that's installed in a subdirectory. So we're going to upgrade this blog here that's on heraldleader.org domain that's in the directory blog 25. And in another video, I'll show you how to upgrade a site that's installed in root. So log into your blog. Go to your site admin. The first thing that you'll want to do before you do any upgrades is deactivate any plugins that you have activated. So here I have this Hello Dolly activated. I'm going to deactivate it. So make sure all your plugins are deactivated. Uh, once you do that, uh, then that's all you need to do on the blog side for now. So then log into cPanel. And when you're in the cPanel, the first thing I like to do before I do an upgrade is to back up my database or to download a backup of my database. So to do that, there's a couple ways you can do that. If your cPanel has it, if you have a backup icon, click on backup. And in the backups, you should see all of your databases that you have. If you know which database goes to your blog, then it's just simple. I know that this blog 25 is my database. I'm just going to click on it, save, save it to your computer somewhere, and that's it. I've just downloaded my blog's database. Uh, if you don't have that uh, backups icon in your cPanel, then go down to find PHP My Admin. Hopefully you'll have that, because you need that to be able to effectively manage virtually anything on your site. In PHP My Admin, find your blog. Mine's blog 25. I'm going to click on it. You'll see all your tables. Just click Check All at the bottom and click Export. On this screen, all your tables should automatically be highlighted. If they're not, just click Select All. Make sure SQL is checked. Leave all the other checks at their default values. Put a check in Save File As and click Go. And then save this file on your computer somewhere and that will save or dump your database so that you have a database backup. And now that you have a good database backup, uh, we can go through and do the actual upgrade. So to upgrade, we're going to use File Manager. I'll click on the File Manager here. And in File Manager, I'm going to go to my public HTML directory. And here is Blog 25 in public HTML. That's the one we're upgrading. If I were to expand public HTML here, if I click on blog 25, I see all my WordPress files there. Okay, So the way that I like to do an upgrade instead of overriding a directory is that uh, I like to actually back up that directory so that I'll have a backup of all my source files as well and then upload new. Now the way I do that is uh, just come over to blog 25, the one that we're upgrading, and click on the name and cPanel and it will allow you re to rename it. So I'm just going to add something at the end of this, maybe call it blog 25 back and click OK. Now what I've essentially done is just backed up that blog in place and I've taken it offline. No one's going to be able to get to my blog during this time. So my blog's offline, it's backed up now in place here on the server. Uh, so now I'm going to upload the new source code. Now the only thing you need to be aware of here, let's go back to public HTML, is when I upload the WordPress zip file and extract it, it's going to extract in a directory called WordPress. So you need to make sure you don't have any other directory in public HTML called WordPress. Because if you do, it's going to uh, overwrite the contents of that directory if it's another blog that you have there called WordPress. Okay, so I have nothing, no other directory here called WordPress. Uh, so I'm going to upload my new source code that I've downloaded from WordPress.org. Click Browse, find it. Uh, here's the WordPress 2.7 that we're upgrading to. This is a 2.5 site that I'm upgrading. Once it uploads, and then you can close the uploader, and you'll see WordPress 2.7 zip. Click on the box. Click Extract and Extract Files into Public HTML and click Close once it's finished. 
Now it extracts into a directory called WordPress. So here's a fresh set of 2.7 code in this WordPress directory. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click on the box and delete the zip. I no longer need that. Now for my WordPress directory, I want to move a couple things possibly that I may have in my uh, blog original source. So for example, if I go into my original source, one thing that I know I want to move over to my uh, upgraded files is my uploads directory. Now this, I don't have an uploads directory in here. If you go to your blog, blog 25, go to WP content, if you have an uploads directory here, then you'll want to move it to your same directory in your WordPress. I don't have one. Uh, but I'm going to move something just to show you how to do that. If we go into uh, WP Content uh, and into Themes, if you have custom themes, you'll want to move those over. I don't have any custom themes either, but let me just do this. Let's just assume this was a custom theme just to show you how to do that. Uh, I want to move that over to my new install. Okay. So I would go to my WordPress. I would go into content, go to the uh, themes directory, and I'm going to have classic and default in my new install. But in my original install, there's my contents, my themes directory, and I have this one called custom. I can simply come out here and highlight custom and then drag it over to my, see it's WordPress, content, themes, and I'm going to drop that on my themes folder and it will move it into my new install. If I were to come out here now and just uh, refresh the screen, you can see now that if I go here and I go into WordPress, content, themes, there's my custom. Okay. So I've just moved it from my old install to my new install. So any custom themes, plugins, and your upload folder you need to move to your new install. You can just drag and drop. You can also click on uh, anything in there and click um, move file and then select the new destination and so forth. But uh, I'm not going to go through all the different ways to do that. Drag and drop works really well in the new uploader.